Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. It's just things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candies. Hello, and welcome to Dollar Tree Theater. Today, we're going to be reviewing a 2020 film that gets a 4.1 in IMDb, directed by Hank Pretorius. Pretorius. Sorry, I just had to. <laughs> it's a one hour and 29 minutes. We're talking about The Unfamiliar. There is the cover art. There is the back. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the inside to show you guys the inside because this glare is stupid. There, much better. So we follow a film here that is based in the UK. We have a mother who is just getting back from the war. She's back with her family, experiencing civilian life now, and she's got to adjust to how life is going to be in civilian life. Well, when she returns, she's learned that her family's been to Hawaii. They've been doing some vacationing and things, which is something you do to kind of get your mind off things you know with the situation totally understandable but she starts hearing things and seeing things wondering what's happening is it just ptsd there's really some crazy stuff going on in my house you know what's the deal so with that being said her husband and their daughter their son and the newborn baby are trying to convince her, hey, take a couple breaks, relax. Things are going to be fine. She still continues to see stuff. She doesn't know what's happening, but they start to experience stuff now. And they decide, you know what, let's just get away. Let's go back to Hawaii. I, we took some artifacts with us. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe it's just uh, bad juju. So they go to Hawaii. And they arrive on this island where all hell breaks loose. And I'm just going to leave it at that. And my thoughts on this movie. This movie blew me away. Uh, this is the one I was looking the least amount forward to because I really wasn't impressed with the cover art, which is, that really is a trope that I need to get past. You know, the cover art was deceiving. This movie was great. It wasn't outstanding, but it was a great watch. Uh, the special effects were decent. Um, a little bit of CGI, but also some practical effects in this movie. The acting was brilliant, absolutely brilliant from everybody in the film. I actually liked this better than Hereditary. Now, I know that doesn't say a whole lot, but I did. I liked it better than Hereditary. If I had to pick between this and Hereditary, I'd watch The Unfamiliar. Um, there are jump scares. There are demonic transfers you have get zero amounts of humor like very little to no regular interaction that would lead you to believe that this movie is trying to be anything other than a, than a horror film this director Gary Pretorius notorious he takes his job very seriously and he pulls the emotions out of his actors you can just tell uh, he's well known. He's won tons of awards uh, for his work, and this is nothing short of um, fantastic. This movie is a must-watch. I recommend. If you see it at the Dollar Tree. Definitely pick it up. If you like uh, possession films, if you like haunt films, this one plays out a little different. This is a little bit of a different animal than what we're probably used to. The storyline is similar. To some things but it's also very different so i highly recommend everybody checking out the unfamiliar 
Um, if you've already picked it up, put it in your player this week. Check it out. Give it a watch. I give this one a 4 out of 5. Check out the unfamiliar. This is Hobbs. Peace. Welcome, welcome to the house on the A6 block. I'm just chilling on the porch in my chair, I rock. I'm your host, Jimmy Biggs, with the coolest crit. The only light outside is the full moon grip. Welcome, welcome to a world mixed with you on the good. If you ain't plan on staying, then you misunderstood. This ain't a nightmare. The figment of imagination. Step inside and the house will awaken. Stella